we are in the process of this is this is happening before you actually poke the needle and this is the medical device or instrument that helps in the blood donation process As you can see, it's alcohol or some sort of anesthetic has been inserted into our arm for the actual blood process takes place. Most important of all, you have to squeeze the squeeze ball to ensure the veins protrudes up from the arm for the ensures uh, the blood donation goes for free yes. thereafter and it's not painful at all okay and the preparation process ends this way and there you go I'm done with the blood donation now I to rest for perhaps about five to ten minutes uh, in order to rejuvenate, and it's not that painful at all uh, as what you have thought. And perhaps you can just enjoy the process of blood donation uh, as you go along. And after all, I'm a regular donor for 42 times. Let's help people in the long run. I hope you have enjoyed watching my blood donation process for the past moments. And I have some essential information to share with you to ensure your iron content at the ideal level before you go for any blood donation uh, within that day or within that week. And for ladies, it's advisable not to go for any blood donation if you have your menses family or perhaps you are pregnant and it's only advisable to go back to any blood donation after your baby delivery or your menses essentially you gotta have sufficient rest within the day or within the week and not to have strenuous form of exercise to make yourself lethargic actually reduces your iron content uh, during this process ideally it's also not advisable to take in uh, caffeine contained beverages such as tea or coffee within the week or day before your blood donation it actually reduces your hemoglobin level and not hitting ideal level of 13 grams before I end this presentation I have some essential information about uh, the foods you can take uh, to increase your iron content which are bran flakes or corn flakes dried figs or dried dates prunes as well and for people who love fruit you can have more of dried long ends a sea moss for vegetable lovers are also good because they provide relatively high level of iron for your body you can have more dried seaweeds as well as a snack and for those meat lovers my personal favorite would be lentils to a very very high iron content before your blood donation you can have more meat like beef pork livers or pork kidneys I hope you have benefited from me in terms of all this information I've shared for the past moment. And right now, I shall hand over to my dog, P Dog. We hope you enjoyed our video for the past moment. Please hit the like and subscribe to my channel, P Dog TV channel. And don't forget.